Night of Destruction number four. And destruction event number five of 2015, getting, re or actually not getting ready to go. It's going, folks, with the Enduro complete. The skid plate race is up next. Tommy, you're not going to be in this race. No, I'm not going to be in this race. My car, I had just, I ran out of time leading up to this event. I was busy with all the female demolition derby cars, and I told myself this, that I'm probably not going to be able to compete a lot, purely because of all the 10 cars that we had to get ready. So with that, I'm going to hand the keys over to you, even though you have your own keys. Thank you. To uh, the double zero. And I can't cars. even start that car with keys. You, don't, you got a screwdriver now. Thank you. Um, I'm going to just enjoy it and sit back and watch. Actually, I'm going to probably catch up yeah. um, later on because I got to get all these girls to stage. Yep. I'll be uh, doing my usual price, starting up near the rear of the pack or whatever. But uh, this, this skip play car, it's obviously been running here for two years. I'm looking forward to what I could do in this race. It's the road course event, which I feel is kind of an advantage uh, for someone trying to work their way through the field sometimes because a lot of people wall up, you choose the right line, you can make up a lot of ground. So we'll see what I can do in this skid plate race. Uh, there'll be 20 cars in it. There'll probably be some new faces that show up, but it's certain to be a lot of excitement because, Tommy, skid plate racing is generally wild and crazy. Definitely. So good luck with that. Yep. I won't be out there to protect you. 20 laps of skid plate racing, getting ready to go now. So about to go up for the uh, skid plate race. Then another wild and crazy day. See what we could do here. Maybe get a trophy out of this one. We'll see. I, I'm pretty sure I'm getting a trophy out of the next event, which is the RV Demolition Derby. I don't have a clue what to expect for that event, other than it's just gonna be goofy. Probably also gonna be one of the more dangerous events that I'll ever do in my life. I'm probably gonna get demolished. But I see the other RVs being worked on right now. They don't look much better than mine, considering they're working on their cars right now stop it there's supposed to be i think about 27 cars in this race well a lot of cars got torn up in the flagpole race a lot of cars so we'll, we'll see how many we amount to here but uh right after this race ends i get to readjust some cameras tommy and i are going to do a little bit of work for the uh women's demolition derby as far as uh, introductions and whatnot i do not know why we pace for this. It's dumb. It's juvenile. Now you remember earlier in the year on the Night of Destruction, I believe back in June, this car next to me and I, the 18, we had our differences. I'm not waiting for anyone. Like if you spin out, sorry. everyone does. A lot of times I think people forget how to skip plate race. And it just causes all sorts of excitement.
I'm like amongst the leaders right now. That's a good start. some good company up here so there probably won't be too many uh goofball moves amongst the leaders but it's all the lot traffic man Popped into sixth. Speaking of live traffic. that we're seeing in front of me. The track hates these because they tear up the most of the track. See, this lap traffic's helping me. Well, I say that now. Let's see how this goes. talking a lot because we're gonna catch in the 07 right now. In fact, I'm working on catching the leaders. That's cool. So really just want to work on not overdriving the car. Definitely don't want to spin out. Wow, 
lot of traffic is clearly coming into play. See right now, battling for fourth with the 02. He did that himself. Unfortunately, I think that just took me out of the running. We might have a flat tire. If I do, see what we could do, but two of these guys kind of drove on after the red came out, but I might, I might be in worst case. I mean, the zero two and I wrecked together on the red flag. Look where he is, look where I am. Um, if he did give me a flat tire, I will take him out again. We're on lap eight, I believe, of 20. Now, Tommy had a similar incident happen to him. and it completely destroyed his car. So let's see what... Oh shit. Ah, uh, bummer! Definitely was in contention in this race. Flat tires, man. They are relentless. So like I said, I will return the favor to this O2. See that? Florida. That guy's completely on my asshole list now, by the way. That was a hard hit. We're going to 
gonna give this guy uh, an idea of how I feel about him. I'm still in 10th, funny enough. These guys are all wrecking. That's enough of that. I I don't think there's much of a point in keeping my car out here. I'm just gonna hurt it. I pointed at him. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna hit him again, but he's definitely given me more than enough reason to do it. Like I said, that's enough of that. to destroy my car in some stupid pursuit of retaliation. I I know what that guy did. I I've never I've never been in a rivalry of, of, of this magnitude like I was in this one. I'm trying to get out of everyone's way. I don't want to affect the race. Maybe I do for one guy. Every time he passes me, I want him to think about what he did. This driver door right here. This is me, like, my inability to just pull off and be smart, I guess. This must be longer than a 20 lap race. Ha <laughs> ha! I outlasted the fucking idiot. He hit me so hard that his airbags went off. I'm just trying to get TV time. He hit me so bad, so, he hit me so hard that my airbags went off. 
Incredible. Look how slowly I spin out. I wouldn't be surprised if this car is toast after this. Derby after this, did I mention that? Oh, you guys, don't crash yourself now. Uh, this door bar paid off today. What it is, folks, is that it's just an utter disregard for the safety of your competitors. Like, revving someone up like I was doing to him, even if he didn't get why. You don't do that, like, the, you don't do that. Some people can't control their tempers like others. That guy's displayed to me that he's a complete and utter idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell just happened on the skid play track? Looked like you got pretty beat up out there. I, how about this? I was walking to the track to watch the end of that skid play race, yeah. and I saw there was a flat tire <laughs> and a lot of cosmetic damage. Yeah, so folks, uh, first off, the start of the skid play race was going really well. I was working through the field. I was catching up to the leaders, so initially I thought this would be a great race. Got up to lap number eight, and that's when you saw the rivalry begin to brew up. Uh, I came out of that last turn and the 02 of Tony Cummings decided to slide up on me and in my head I'm like, I'm not moving, I'm not hitting the brakes, we're racing for the top yeah, five you right had now. That line. We're racing in the top five, you can hold your line, I can hold mine. So I was stubborn, he was stubborn, and it ended up giving me a flat left front tire. He spun out and drove off during the red flag, something you're not supposed to do, and basically, folks, I was like, damn it, because my race is done. Now, Tommy, my race is done. His race isn't. So what right. am I going to do? I'm going to at least let him know I'm not happy with him. So that's why you saw on the next lap he came by, I roughed him up a little bit. I got into his door. I stopped in front of him. And at that point, my car was spinning out on a dime. It, it just did not want to go straight. So I pulled away a little bit. And the next thing I know, I hear, and then I see out of the corner of my eye, a big yellow bright bumper coming straight at my door. And he just, without lifting, without any regard for apparently anyone's safety, drove straight into me. Because I can guarantee you, he did not know, do I have bars in my car or any of this? So that's what pissed me off big time with that. Uh, so yeah, the Zero Two Machine, who I have raced fine with in the past. Yeah, great competitor, Tony Cummings. Just uh, been a great competitor. Exactly. I can't necessarily say that yeah. anymore. But no, that's, for sure. That's for him no, to figure We've both figure had out. experience racing. Uh, with him and he, side won, by he side. won the enduro, and this is a new car. And uh, folks, he hit me so hard that his airbags went off. He essentially practically destroyed that car yeah. going after me. So I don't know who that makes a bigger idiot the guy who didn't know when to quit, or the guy who really didn't know when to quit. I don't know. So Tony, he ran on, I think he finished 10th, blew his radiator or something. 
I, I don't know why I did it, but I felt like I think I needed a cool down session. So I drove around the track at five miles per hour. And yeah, it was just, it's a shame because that car got super damaged. I'm obviously ticked off right now. Yeah. But you know what? It's, I, it'll be curious to see how things go in the future because that was the dirtiest move I've ever probably ever seen on a skid play course. And I was literally the brunt end of it. Yeah, very um, true. So yeah, now my car survived. Yeah, your car's fine. <laughs> um, and I am disappointed because again, I was working through the field. The car was handling great up yeah, to the top point. Top five run ain't nothing to sneeze yeah. about. But but you know what, folks, we see it, and especially in this type of race. And sometimes that's just a matter of the disaster. Skid play race. Yep. So that's a wrap on that race. It didn't end as good as the uh, other one did. I guess we'll see later on if the skid play car does have anything left in it. But. An unfortunate end to that one, folks. I'm sore. I feel like I just did a demolition derby. Well, time. you're not done yet because you got an RV demolition derby coming up now.